Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a different video. I went to Japan for the summer and I visited a few different Magic the Gathering stores. So I've got a bunch of cards in a bunch of envelopes that I haven't looked at since I got back from my trip. There's even some dice going around in there. We went to Hararuya and um, just like so many of the big Magic the Gathering sites and a few of the stores even had their own dice. It was great. I've got a collection of friends here with me. I have to unfortunately give most of them away. Not the figurines, but the plushies. And eh, I know they're cute. But um, yeah, basically I was sorting through bulk bins and my wife was helping me. She was putting all the English cards in front so I could read them quickly. And in within these little bags and paper envelopes, there are receipts and goodies and all sorts of things that I'm going to open up and surprise myself because I forgot what I bought. And uh, yeah, I think overall it was probably a one-to-one, -one, but the cards felt like they were cheaper than they should have been. So I was just like, yeah, let's, let's get them. They're vintage. They're cool. I don't have to pay for shipping. And it was a whole fun experience. So um, let's, let's dive in and see what, what I purchased. All right. So we've got boxes of things and dice or bags or whatever these are the hariruya dice with the the logo on it i know that sounds funny but that's the way it's spelled with an h and an r all right so let's go into the big bag here first what we got so okay there's some dice there they have these like raffle things at the that the what do they call them the combini 7-elevens and family marts and lawson's and uh, you spend like seven bucks and you get a raffle ticket and then you get a prize so we got this uh winnie the pooh um not sure what it does holding cloth towel thing all right now to the cards okay so we also went to a store that sold sleeves and it was cheap. There was like one buck and you get all these holographic sleeves with like little shimmery spots on it. So that was cool. And then this is Rankle Master of Pranks. I wanted to give this as a gift to my friends that I met in Japan, but I forgot it at the hotel. So sorry, friends. All right. Put that over there. Um, what's this for? To know B something spent some money there what is this for another thing probably not good to show all these off all right these are the sleeves with the little foiling in them pretty cool cheap that was a fun little thing all right now for one of the big bulks so yeah they just we walked into a bunch of stores and asked them where their magic stuff was. And of course they had every other card game in there. It was like Yu-Gi-Oh to the max, Pokemon to the max. And some of them had pretty good magic bins because I guess they qualified as WPM stores to get promos and such. So I'm going to give these to my friends, a few of them at least, because I got some um, staples in here. So by the time you've seen this video, or they've seen this video at least, they're going to have the cards. Yeah, Unfinity, just like really interesting things that I don't necessarily need a tra uh, translation for. And like they had even borderless cards. It was great. Th this is just a cool land. I had to pick it up. These They were like... 30 cents and that at half price is like 15 cents for all the bulk things. I got excited about these Rebecca uh, sh Gay Showdown cards, standard showdowns. This one has a big like misprint or a ripple in the foiling down the center. But anyway, I, I thought they were like the very special ones that were worth like 40 each. So I was like, oh, I'm snatching all those up. There's another, the other of the wrinkles. Well, I don't need to separate these. Is this a foil Finhorn Elves? Yep. And Kodama's Reach. See, I can kind of identify them, but I, it would be really difficult for me to do so if I was um, 
this is an etched foil patriarch's bidding if i was you know gonna identify them in a few years like what card is that who knows so these were all the like cheap 30 cent cards and then other ones had like uh, prices on them and this was a i don't i forgot what they're called galaxy foil from infinity so i was like oh, i'll pick up those i like those cards here we go swift foot boots sarah angel arbor elf what is this a store championship pro promo cool see i don't even remember oh and um forget it but like it doubles the damage to your opponent things i don't know it's like it used to be a 20 30 buck card now it's like 25 cents galta nice acidic slime always good oh umbrus fear manifest i thought i got this in english okay so this is this was a very hard card to get i actually have this commander so i think this will just be like a, a bling little thing to put out the second or third time my commander gets uh killed <laughs> more of the standard showdown cards dawn of a new age foil mythic from lord of the rings elven course that's a really good card swift foot boots in the um you know whatever that was boja great japanese version 50 cents i'll take it um yeah that Tormod's Crypt, I think. I think they had an English version. I should have picked up that one. Anyway. Shalai and Halar. Now this is a, a really good one. One book, and it's a foil full art. That's good. That's real good. King Crab, I was like, hey, that's nice. I just liked it that it was a vintage foil, so I picked it up. Arcane Signet. Got a nice one of those. Soren the Dark Lord. That's a good one in the alternate hard to get those this looked cool ron spears i don't even know what set it's from but i was just like yeah i'll take that look at this zombie in the corner over here he's pretty cool kodama japanese is this is the the west one i don't know which one it is see need the translation some mount dooms that's going straight in a deck a spicy deck i have some other cards in here for that and then this one was like my little souvenir to myself uh it was a Foil date stamped Wanderer promo. The guy who was uh, help checking us out like actually Googled this one to see if it was worth anything more. I guess because it had that gold thing and you know he could read it and he saw the anime on it. So um, yeah, I, I thought this was a pretty cool little pickup. So okay, oh so I guess the thing that said big on it was one of the stores, this big magic card shop. Is this from there too? Yes, it is. So this place was in Osaka. And that was one of the first places I found with a bulk bin. So I really was like excited just to like be in a new place and get some cool cards from there. So yeah, I, I think uh, Gray Merchants of Asphodel, Professional Facebreaker, Snap, this is not foil. Uh, Tinker, Arcane Signet, is that a foil one? It is foil. Remand, yeah, that's a good counterspell. Gush, you know. Oh, a 30th edition anniversary card, like a rare merfolk of the Pearl Trident. Let's take it out and look at it. That's that's pretty cool. Like, no one wants to support that, but I've got one just as for posterity, basically. <laughs> what else? Ceasefire, old border foil. Can't really get those too easily. 25 cents? Why not? Will Bender, Friday Night Promo. I use that in my morph deck, so I might swap him out. Lightning Rift as a promo. It's pretty cool. 25 cents. Backslide. I use that in my morph deck too. It's a old border foil. It's going in there. And then I just saw some like, what are these? Um, Fallen Empires cards. So I picked those up. 25 cents. Utopia Sprawl, Enchanted Forest. Ooh, I have the other version of that. I think I'll swap it for this artwork. I have no idea what this was. Actually, I think Bianca really liked it. So we picked it up. <laughs> goblin firebug goblin turncoat yeah just old border foils they're cool more of those a dark ritual i thought i got that in japanese anyway there's a counter spell oh fear is it i think so in japanese an italian land of war elves why not glimpse the impossible 
I just like this artwork. Uh, Justine Jones is really cool. Oh, I think this was the cards right behind you that we had them pick out specifically. Yes, for the deck that Bianca wrecks me with every time, she got another Royal Assassin in Japanese that no one will know. And a Dragon's Approach deck, which is spicy tech for my new commander deck that I'm building. These are the dice from Big Magic. I really like them because of the color, but also they had their logo on it, which was this dude with an afro. Whoops, bumped the camera. This dude with an afro. Look at him. So he's happy with sunglasses on. It's great. Reminds me of uh, those rhythm games. It's great. Compare those with these hallelujah ones. Fun. I called these pink lemonade colors, and then these are like Billie Eilish green. <laughs> All right, moving the dice aside. What else? What else? Okay, we've got these there. And these are special as well over here, but those are mainly gifts. Oh, this was fun. We went to, a, we found a mall in Tokyo, and that's where I got these ones. Insatiable Avarice, the tutor card, 150, not bad. Amphin Mutineer, 30 cents. Take that all day. Give me 10 cents for that. Cryptic Coat, need that for my morph deck, and it's a full art one. Thank you very much. Put those here. And what are we th getting thanked for here? This must be from another store with bulk. Let's see. Oh, these are the Haruruya cards that they pulled, isn't it? Yep. There we go. Haruruya. Let's see what I got from there. What is this here? I don't know what this is. Token. A knight token. That's cool. That's real cool. Well, thanks for that inclusion. Oh, these. I was really excited to see these. Noxious Ghouls. They were spiking in price when the Zombies Commander deck came out. And these are the original ones from Legion. So I was like, may as well get a playset of those. <gasps> Not a playset? Where's the third? Where's the fourth one? <gasps> I only got three. Oh, well. And Cezanne, Perverter of Truth. Easy. It was spiking a lot. Then it got a reprint. Oh, there's the Noxious Ghoul. I was... I misspoke. There's the fourth one. Yeah. For 150, I got the original Kamigawa printing. Awesome. And my favorite artwork of Dark Ritual. Mm-hmm. That's going straight into my deck that needs Dark Ritual. Of course, I had to pick up like a revised or fourth edition copy as well. Pretty. And then this awesome soul ring from the Black Commander product. Got that. Fountain of Youth with the dark card. You don't hardly see those. You know, and then Contagion from, yeah, whatever that was, one of the Four Horsemen sets. The artwork on this is just beautiful. Look at this cat. It's like so creepy. Where's pupils? Great. Anyway, one of those pay life exile a card from your hand cards. And this one, Leshrac Sil Sig Sigil. Look at that. That is, someone spent a lot of time making that art. Well, Drew Tucker did. That for 50 cents, 100 yen, great. And these last ones, these are one piece cards. So I got these initially as a gift for my friend who likes one piece, but I had to consume two pieces of chicken to get one piece card, if that makes sense. So since I went to the one piece theme park at Universal uh, Japan, I was like, you know what? I spent so much time getting these. I'm gonna keep the set of three that were in the store and get the main character one for my friend because he loves One Piece. But this was an experience and a quest that I had to go on. So I'm so sorry, Steven. I got you this one and I hope you can forgive me for not giving you the whole set. But they are foil. It's just in this light, it's difficult to see. Anyway, limited, exclusive to 7-Eleven. You had to purchase like something from the fried chicken area to get it. I think I might have a picture of it to show you. Uh, but yeah, that is basically it. And I would like to thank you, you, you. And where is this one? You over here for supporting me. We'll have a special edition with the, they call this Black Rayquaza. You know, they just can't call it shiny. They have to call it Black Rayquaza. You know, everything needs to be specified in color. And then this Kirby that came on a special Kirby Cafe Boba Straw super fun you like sucked up the boba right through the thing and you were like kirbying it 
<laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, I hope you liked my haul, and uh, it was very fun to shop for all these things. Went to like five different stores, but um, give me a like, subscribe, do all the fun things that YouTube will give me a good algorithm for, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!